Hey guys, uh, Rob here with a brand new tutorial on drawing smooth lines. Uh, I had a few requests uh, asking me how I get my lines so smooth. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but uh, let's get started. The very first thing I'm going to uh, explain to you guys is um, uh, it's a little bit about the Cintiq. Uh, this is the Cintiq that I draw on. It's a 20 inch widescreen version. And uh, one thing I found with using the Cintiq uh, is it tends to get a little hot, like right around the top and kind of in the center. It gets pretty warm. Uh, so what I've had to do is I've had to pull uh, one of the tricks I have out of my animation bag um, so that my hand doesn't start uh, getting sticky and, uh, you know, kind of start sticking to the screen from the heat. And that is to make a cleanup glove. So to make a cleanup glove, you take a regular white cotton glove. Um, you can get them a lot of different places. I suppose Walmart probably has them, any art store. And uh, what you're going to do uh, is you're going to cut off the uh, index finger, middle finger, and thumb. And what that's going to give you, something like this. Mine's incredibly dirty with uh, graphite because I've used it for a lot, for its main purpose, which is to prevent uh, graphite from smudging on paper when your hand goes over it. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to grip your pen really securely with your three fingers and still allow it to slide across the Cintiq really easily. Um, now that may, that's probably not going to apply to anyone with a tablet. They don't produce nearly the kind of heat that a Cintiq does. Anyway, so uh, the first thing I'm going to cover here is about how people draw. Now most people when they learn to, uh, to write uh, in cursive or however, they're going to learn to write with their uh, with their wrist and their fingers. So you know when you see them writing, they're going to be writing like this, and that's all well and good for writing. And you know what? It's even okay for short, uh, straight lines like hatching of uh, kinds like that. That's fine. But when you start getting into stuff like drawing circles, first of all, you're limited to the size of a circle you can draw with just your wrist. It starts, you start getting really big and they start getting all wonky. There you go, you see, it's getting all strange. So, um, one thing I learned in animation, uh, which is uh, applied really well to this, is instead of restricting yourself and drawing with your wrist, draw with your whole arm. Use your elbow and your, uh, and your shoulder, and this way, you can get nice big circles and good sweeping lines. This is something that's going to be uh, kind of strange for most people to adapt to. Uh, it's going to take some work. You really got to kind of lock your wrist and just draw from uh, from the shoulder. And what you're going to get is even with straight lines, you're going to get much uh, truer, straighter lines because that shoulder and the elbow as a joint have much wider ranges of motion. I mean, uh, the bigger sweeping uh, arcs that you can get out of them rather than uh, you know, restricting yourself you know, to, uh, to your wrist. Having a floppy wrist will tend to, uh, to not allow you to draw straight lines as well. It's, uh, it's something that uh, I've started doing and has really uh, helped me out quite a bit with my line quality. The second thing that, uh, or I guess it would be the third thing that, uh, that I would do uh, as far as keeping your lines clean and this has to do a lot with uh, the way these programs have been uh, put together is instead of being zoomed out, let me just zoom out here, if you try to do a lines zoomed out from your uh, from your drawing, when you finally do zoom in, there you go, look at that, you get all jagged and kind of wonky looking and, uh, and that's not really cool, um, that's not what you want. So the solution to that is, is Literally, just zoom in. Zoom right in, and uh, the closer you are, like this, you'll get much truer, cleaner lines. This is, uh, this is something that uh, anyone who's, uh, who's been working with a tablet, drawing uh, digitally for any length of time, probably has discovered on their own. Uh, it's possible that, uh, that you, if you haven't done it too much, no one's told you about it. But, uh, but this is the simplest way to keep your lines nice and clean and true. So, uh, so yeah, I hope that helped out a little bit. And uh, 
I'll be seeing you guys again on Thursday with another tutorial.